hello everyone welcome back in this video we will look into what research is so basically if you ask anyone or in general google search you will find that the meaning of research is research and that's not what we are going to discuss in this video so i wanted to take you behind what is the general meaning or uh, what is generally termed as research is so we will look into the meaning of research in detail uh, so research means re and searching again so if you are searching it means that it is hidden somewhere isn't it so something is hidden and you are searching it is that the actual meaning of research i would say no there are some things which are not hidden we wanted to explore those items for example take the case of chandrayaan moon is there and we are sending rockets is there any problem with that no we wanted to explore what is there so sometimes research is not just about a problem rather it could be of exploratory in nature and likewise there are also many types where we will be discussing later think about a theory of uh, gravity the newton's theory did, did it start with any problem no he just saw the apple fell in the falling down and then he started questioning it so not generally the research will start with a problem but for ugc net or even in general aspects if you see research starts with a problem so that's why to be in a safer side in an academic field we will say that research starts with a problem but if you really wanted to know the meaning of research it's not generally the problem it is also sometimes beyond the problem or sometimes it is not the problem at all you just wanted to explore it so there are types of research that we will not be discussing in this video maybe in the next coming videos we will see now so we will start the aspect so first one is research means it's a searching process searching process for a problem in a scientific way so what do we mean by scientific way uh, maybe you can just think about your project that has been done in your post graduation or you can think about your dissertation or maybe your thesis it starts with data collection so you collect data from the people and from the data that you collect you started to you start to scrutinize those data you do not just take up all the data and do the research you start to scrutinize it maybe suppose you collect 1000 data from that you scrutinize and make it some 750 and from the 750 data that is collected you start to analyze it after analysis process is done you start to interpret the data after interpretation you start to give some conclusion along with a suggestion and also you will try to talk about your view about that particular aspect so this is what we mean by scientific way in a general arts or maybe in commerce research if you see this is how the research starts and ends it starts with the data collection then you analyze it then you interpret that and then finally you will conclude those research but in a scientific way if you see it is not just about the data collection in a scientific way or maybe in the science research it is beyond science where it will start with observation it will start with experimentation from the experimentation you come to get it so here you are not talking or asking data from anyone rather you are observing a phenomenon so this is one type of research where we can call that as experimental research and the other one is uh, the research must be able to answer something the research should have or should at the end of the research process it should be able to answer something and that answer should be objective in nature what do we mean by objective suppose you like green color and uh, you say that the entire world likes green color that cannot be called as a research because it's your subjective answer and from your experience you feel that green color is your favorite but that is not applicable for all the people around you so you start to ask question to people what is your favorite color what is your favorite color and from the 1000 data that you have collected for example 700 people have said that they like red color and the remaining 300 have said that they like blue color the top priority so can you conclude by stating that 700 people like red color as the most favorite one in the 1000 people researched again if you see this generalization is a very risky process in research what do we mean by generalization if you see generalization you start collecting data from people nearby you or maybe in a particular region 
only for that particular region you can generalize you cannot say that this is a universal research idea even for the sake of whatever the research that we see it is subject to certain region whenever you go for data collection but when you do any scientific research that is a universal research where the atom if you're going to research about an atom that is applicable for entire universe if you're going to do a research on leaf it is applicable for entire world so those types of research is different but when you're going to deal with peoples that is subject to a certain community so that's why generalization is very difficult why is because you ask people a question and tomorrow you ask the people another question the same question people may differ with the answer and that's why research is subject to change it changes today it changes tomorrow and it changes day after tomorrow so there is no way of telling that this is the absolute research is always ever changing and uh, research is also called as the voyage of discovery as i said before please remember it maybe we may be talking about different different aspects but we are focusing on one particular aspect clearly that is research is doing something in a scientific way where you wanted to solve a problem or you wanted to learn something or you wanted to answer to the question so research is also called as the voyage of discovery you wanted to discover something maybe that discovery could solve a problem or it just gives you some idea about okay this is how the phenomenon works so it is also termed as voyage of discovery so now we will look into the characteristics characteristics of research and then we will uh, close this video so i'll just summarize whatever that we dealt or discussed till now so research is basically a process and that process generally we try to solve some problem and that problem must be dealt in a scientific way you cannot solve a problem by just your own subjective methodology it has to be done with certain procedures it should start with collection and then you have to analyze it then you have to interpret and finally you need to conclude that this is the scientific process that i am giving for a basic research but for other researchers it defines and differs so if we look into the characteristics of a research it is entirely a scientific examination that's the first characteristics so what do we mean by characteristics for example think about yourself uh, my character is i like to go outside at evening time this is your character it's not character in the sense it's a fixed one your character likes it i like to go out at 6 o'clock and then i like to eat strawberry ice creams so these are all your favorite things likewise research is having its own its own scientific characteristics so the characteristics there are list of it we will just focus on the most important uh, aspects uh, it is having a scientific examination and it should be evaluated whatever the research that we do today it has to be in a way where we can test it maybe the result may differ that's what i wanted to stress here yesterday we did a research you can test the same research today itself mostly it has to come at least the value should be approximate not accurate but at least approximate but in a scientific research if you see day before yesterday you do a research the same answer will come today if you do it and tomorrow will also be the same but whenever you are dealing with research where you are going to talk with people and collect the data that is always subject to change for instance you are doing a customer satisfaction of sbi bank in mumbai and you do the same customer satisfaction of sbi in kolkata the research and uh, the result will totally be differing because different set of people and different geographical representations because the differences will always exist unless there is because if you see the population is different the mindset of the people will differ and the economical status of two different uh, cities will differ so there will always be a difference and the research process will also be in a different result and the second characteristics of uh, research if you see uh, there must be some procedures as i said before the research should have some a b c d and it should follow the procedure you cannot go for b and then d and come back to c it has to laid in a proper sense then you should be able to start your research process and finally if you see the result or the informations that we get it can have some hypothesis there is no issue in having an hypothesis but ensure that the hypothesis must be in the beginning stage but if you are going to have the hypothesis when the after the analysis part that cannot be taken into consideration because when you start doing the research you can have the hypothesis but after collecting the analysis while interpreting 
you cannot have any hypothesis you cannot have any assumptions over the research research is basically it's not your point of view it's the people's point of view suppose if you are doing a scientific research it's not your point of view it's the experimental result and you are just analyzing it maybe in interpretation you can give your own view maybe the author's point of view or the researcher's view but generally whatever the phenomenon that we get we should be able to write it in without a biased manner so these are all the things that we call as the characteristics of a research likewise we will also have characteristics of a researcher the ethics of research and ethics of a researcher those things we will be looking into later but uh, my focus for this particular video is i wanted to explain what is research so i'll just summarize the research and then we'll close the video so first thing is research so research means searching something or solving some problem in a process and that process should be in a scientific way and uh, it is not just about solving a problem sometimes it will also be exploratory in nature that's the thing that i wanted to ensure that i wanted to stress upon that point and the other one is it should have a characteristics which must be backed by some scientific evidence and it should have some scientific process so these are the two points that i wanted to conclude uh, by stating the meaning of research i hope uh, the video was clear and any doubts relating to the research kindly please put it in the comment section thank you all and uh, we'll see in the next video thank you and please do subscribe and uh, like it thank you